Yo, good morning. It is Thursday, May 2nd, the day before NFP Friday, and I'm gonna be showing you guys right here how we just caught this amazing banger. One position where we secured 155 ticks, and then this one 119 on a re-entry. Total PN now is going to be 600. We secured it very early. As you guys can see right here, we secured right here. Price came all the way down here. That's an extra a percent and a half. But I'm gonna show you guys how we were able to secure to such a T and how we even came up with a straight idea. So coming into session, as you guys know, the most important thing that you have to look at is identifying your bias, right? And coming into session, coming into today's session, right? I'm looking at, you know, the structure and I'm looking at the last candles, right? And look at the last two candles on the daily time frame, okay? If you're looking at the last two candles, look at the two can two days ago, we have a high momentum bearish candle, right? And the next day, which was yesterday, Wednesday, today's Thursday, look at this weak momentum candle that went to the upside like that, right? Closing under the previous daily's lows. So when I'm looking at this, I'm immediately going, okay, I'm probably gonna go short. We just gotta go find where we're gonna go short at on lower time frames because the daily time frame has given us so much, right? on just these two candles, right? Just candlestick pattern, price action, right? Candle, candle, giving me high, high bearish bias here now, right? And going out to the four hour time frame, right? Going out to the four hour time frame, let's go to session. So we're gonna go to session now, and yesterday's FOMC just resulted in a huge wick to the upside, and then we get a four hour candle that, you know, kind of engulfs, so I'm like, okay, we're definitely, definitely gonna go short. So, I'm, so this trade was a little bit weird because you didn't have major, major order blocks or fair value gaps here. We simply had a market structure shift, right? And a sweep of the session highs and lows. So I've talked this about, about this in a video before, the importance of daily highs and lows, session highs and lows, weekly highs and lows, right? And in this instance, we used a market structure shift and we used the sweep of the London hot highs. Right, and then once we got those two things and we got a shift in structure, I used the 930 volume to push price into our direction. So yes, 930, this was the earliest trade I've taken in ever, I think. It was like 935, crazy, but we ended up securing. So price comes up, sweets are left in highs, right? And in this moment, I'm kind of just go, I'm kind of just want to look for, you know, that market structure shift. And before we get this drop, you can see that, you know, we're having some you know, bearish order flow, right? This is what I see right here. I literally see price sweeping my highs over here, right? Sweeping my highs right over here, my London highs. Price is failing to break above, right? We already have that bearish bias in the daily time frame, which is important. So price right now is simply making another lower high and breaking under this level, right? Breaking under this key level right here, which is an H4 level, right? Basic H4 support and resistance, right? Which also marked a market structure shift. Once we closed under, I took the aggressive entry and shorted. Usually I wait for more. I wait for a fair value gap to form. I wait for something else, but I didn't want to risk that, right? And price just melts. It gave you you are a retest anyways, right? Or barely, actually, barely. And then I went a little ballsy and I ended up shorting under the London lows again, entering on another contract. Targets are at sell side liquidity. And again, the importance of marking off and knowing where your sell side and buy side liquidity are because you're gonna see the reaction after targets are hit and boom, targets are met. TP got taken at 10.05. Again, we entered this trade so early at 9.40. Crazy. And price, you know, we just completely reversed. And again, I showed you guys the PNL for proof. And price currently is all the way back up. And that's literally the importance of your daily bias, the importance of knowing your targets in terms of sell side and buy side liquidity. And this is just a beautiful trade breakdown. I hope it didn't take too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We have been killing it. And I'm actually going to fuck around and show you guys my top step. So this is my top step account. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm undergoing a challenge. 
and the start and balance was 50k look at where we got to you guys we're at 58 600 48 600 we we you know we did lose a little bit in my defense this was when we switched over to futures i went straight into account challenge and you know you could tell you know you could tell by this curve right we literally were just having small wins and big losses so then you know we kind of picked it back up and it's been beautiful ever since this isn't even updated right it says our balance is 51 and basically 100 this was from may 1st today is may 2nd and you guys again can see you guys can see that we won around 544 our account balance is 51636 so this is going to update and push again and basically make all-time highs on our challenge so listen I've been, I've been through there. I've been through multiple challenges. I know how to stay composed. So that's why we were down here. I didn't sweat it. And now currently we're going to be at all the time. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And that's real proof of my p and and my top step challenge account currently going. Because I know some of you want to fuck with me and be like, oh, but you don't, man, shut up. So I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Deuces.